Hey guys, welcome back to another After Effects tutorial, and today we'll be continuing our motion graphics series with morphing. So morphing is a really simple concept that I use time over time in my intros, and I really want to share this um, with you because it's really helpful, and in my opinion, it looks really nice. So without further ado, let's get started. Let's select the shape layer and create a square in the center of the composition, center the anchor point, and center it in the composition itself. The first thing we're going to do is convert this into a bezier path. So twirl down the rectangle 1. And in rectangle path 1, don't twirl it down. Right click it and click convert to bezier path. Just like that we get a path keyframe. So if I click on this stopwatch, this is something that I can animate with. So we're going to leave it at the start. And let's do the same for a circle. So I'm going to hide this for now. I'm going to go into my ellipse tool and make a perfect circle. And once again, align that in the center. So we're going to do the exact same thing. We're going to right click on the path, convert to Bezier path, and set a keyframe. So now I want to control C this, control X to cut it. And I'm just going to delete this layer because I don't really need it anymore. Go into your square layer, make that visible. And click U. So all we have to do is basically just click on the path and control V and paste that layer. And you can see just like that, it's a little glitchy, but we can fix that. We get that really simple morph. Now it's quite logical if you can th if you think about it. We're taking a path from a square, a path from a circle, and just keyframing it, and After Effects does all the work for us. So you can see this is a little glitch that I don't know why happens. But to fix it, it's actually quite easy. So what we do is select the first one, control X that, move it forward, and move this one forward as well. And there you go, it fixes itself. Let's move that to the start. And of course, what we can do is we can actually select this, select easy ease, and we can animate this property really easily so we can that slow like that and you can see just like that it looks pretty cool so now this works for anything let's make a star right star tool so to the anchor point a line in the, in the middle oh and that's another thing okay so when we fixed this shape it doesn't align itself anymore so just make sure that you center the anchor point and move that back in the middle Now for the star, let's turn the visibility off of that and turn it on for the star. And you want to do the same thing for the star. So convert to a busy path, get a keyframe, and copy that keyframe. Now we can delete that because we've got the path. Select this one and paste it. And now if we watch it, you can see it slowly changes into a star. Now about that area that we had before, once you've already fixed it, it won't occur again. So it's quite handy. So we can once again animate this property. So let's make this a fast one. Like that. So anyway, that's just a really simple effect that not many people know, but it's just so useful and it can be used in so many different ways. Yeah. Now once again, this can be used for custom shapes, logos. Um, just gotta keep on experimenting it, but I'm just gonna show you these three basic shapes. So thanks for watching guys, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.